every member of political party must swear by its commitment to stand for the individual rights, freedom, liberty. Because it is inherent part of our constitution and its spirit. When we want to make India a safe and secure place, we need stringent laws. Without that, the freedom will not exist. As long as we have a secure boundary, as long as we have a strong state, all the things which are guaranteed in the constitution will prevail. Otherwise, there will be complete lawlessness. In the name of freedom, if everybody runs freely, where is the law and order? Where will be the semblance of some kind of discipline in the society? So we need to strike a balance. That is why I said nobody, no organization, no political party can question the wisdom of the Indian judiciary. No campaign whatsoever with all alternate, alternate motives can succeed in defaming India and its democratic setup. We Indians are in the hell of democracy. That is why we proudly claim that we are the mother of the democracy in the world. The United States may say that they are the only democracy, but India is truly the mother of democracy. With rule of law, as the court, the Supreme Court, whatever makes law, whatever pronouncement comes from the Supreme Court, it is the law of the land. Can anybody deny it? No. But differences may come when we say that the judge's appointment cannot be done by judicial order. It is a standard taken by the government because the Constitution says so. But that doesn't mean that government is without a judicial